I'm in ancient India and currently running for my life from a- Oh, I'm dead. What the goose eggs? The gods have been angered against all mankind, and I have 100 days to stop the gods from killing us all. What ancient weapons will I find? And will I be able to start an empire and defeat the gods, or will I die? I wander through the market square. Hey, little guy. Oh, how do you want the upsies? Thief, stop. I turned and ran with the monkey clinging onto me. A sword flew past me. I needed to make a stand against these guys. I found a small garden with a tree. Whoa. A sword jetted past me as I grabbed the last piece of wood. I started to make a sword. I punched the guard and ran out. I sprinted down the street. All right, I need to get to the water. I dove in. Come back here. Ha. Losers, wait, what's that? A crocodile sprang at me. Oh, no, 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 back, back, get to land, get to land. I climbed up, but the soldiers were waiting. I turned it and booked it. I ran behind the houses trying to lose them. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. The soldier cut me off. As I turned and ran, I looked up and saw soldiers on top of the houses. They jumped down. This isn't good. Give us the monkey, you peasant. I won't let them take you, little buddy. Uh. All of a sudden, an elephant charged through a building. With the distraction, I ran. The bridge was blocked off. As I turned, I saw more guards down the street. Get out the way, get out the way. I ran down the coastline. I needed a way out of here. With the few blocks left, I had an idea. I got to the edge and then speed bridged across. We need to get up this mountain. We got to the top, but there was no way down. Give us the monkey. The little guy looked at me. We had to take a gamble. I grabbed him and we jumped. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. As I looked down, I spotted it. Come on, yes! I began to run through the trees. I glanced back up. A soldier came barreling down and landed on the ground, dead. He dropped some sort of weapon. As I got closer, I saw it. Today's sponsor, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact takes place in the incredible open world of Tevat. During your travels to the land of Tevat, you will have three separate regions that you can explore however you want. I personally love to swim everywhere I go because uh, <laughs> I can't swim in real life. Genshin Impact also has an elemental combat bad system with seven powers that exist for you to discover. With some good strategy using your elemental reactions, you will be able to unleash epic damage in your combat. Another one of my favorite things about their game is their super engaging and dynamic storyline with a plethora of unique characters that will join you along the way. You can team up with your friends in their co-op mode to trigger even more elemental action and take on challenging domains to reap the rich rewards. With Genshin Impact's newest update, Zephyr of the Violet Garden, you will the chance to get the returning character, Kamisato Ayaka. You can also check out their newest area, the Chasm. Complete new events and take on new commissions by helping an Anazu Man artist. Huge thanks to Genshin Impact for sponsoring today's video. Use the link in the description below to download Genshin Impact on your devices right now so you can enjoy everything the land of Tevet has to offer. Now, back to the video. It was some sort of axe. I picked it up. I ran for what seemed like an eternity until I found some terrain to hide behind. I I think I lost them. Whoa, check out this axe. I needed to find food, so I headed out. Whoa, what the heck? I was yeeted sky high. They found me, crap. I hurried off, I had to find safety. I made it down a hill. Yes, melons, I need some food. Yo, 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 let's talk about this, let's talk about this. He didn't want to talk, so I ran. Yeah, <sighs> I think we lost them. You okay, little buddy? You know, I think I'll name you Scampers. I spotted a village ahead and made my way to it. I needed food and supplies desperately, and then I could get far away from here and live in peace. Whoa, prisoners. Beware death hole. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll avoid that. I scavenged some leftovers from the villagers. Whatever was happening here, I wanted no part of. I found a leather cap, and then I found some armor in one of the barrels, and I put it on. Whoa, uh, hello? Please, you must help us. The gods are unleashing their wrath on us. The god Arjuna is trying to end us all. You must help us. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. I have to go. The guards would be here soon. I had to get out. The village guard hit me, so I drew my axe and topple them. Stay close, scampers. You, since you won't help us, I will send you to the pit. We needed to run. All of a sudden, we were overwhelmed with soldiers. Scampers, scampers. I was pushed back. It was chaos. I tried to battle back, but then all of a sudden, whoa, 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 whoa. I fell down a giant hole. I needed to get out, but as I looked up, I saw a piece of obsidian. I was trapped. You, bring that up. 
They were gonna sell scampers. I had to get out of here. They must have installed some sort of backup way to get out in case they fell in by accident. I just gotta find it. I tried breaking the glowstone, but nothing. I almost wanted to break the obsidian, but I knew I couldn't. I had nothing to help. I had to get out. The guards were minutes behind me. They would kill me and take scampers. I went to F5 mode when all of a sudden I spotted something. An ender pearl. How do, how do I get a shift? Shift, yes. All right, let's get out. Oh, 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 have a heart, have a heart. I was almost dead, but I still wasn't out. I looked around. If I was a guard, what backup escape system would I have installed? I broke all the blocks nearby, but nothing really useful came up. I reviewed my blocks, trying to think. They were gonna eat scampers. I had to get out quick. The guards could only be minutes behind. I knew I only had a certain amount of time before all was doomed. I broke the glowstone in the corner, and I found an ender pearl. I went to the main room, but this wouldn't be enough to get out. I was in hardcore. If I ran out of food, I'd die here. Alright, how do I get out? The guards would arrive any minute now, and the villagers would definitely feed me right to them. The only reason for an ender pearl is a ceiling glitch, but but if I pick the wrong spot for it, then that's my only chance out and I've screwed it up. I had to try it, but the next question was how do I get close to the roof? If I pillared up, I would lose the blocks I used. What can I craft with what I have? Ladders! I was debating because there was also a cobweb. Maybe I had to make a wooden sword, but the time was running out. I had to save scampers. I took a gamble, made ladders, and climbed up. Here we go, and throw it. Yes! Yes, it worked! I'm coming, scampers! I still wasn't out yet, though. There seemed to be another room, and in the corner, I saw a chest. It was a trap chest, so I debated for a moment, but then I opened it. I found supplies inside and took them. I headed down a water elevator into a room. I took all the items, broke the ice in the middle, but couldn't really see anything. I couldn't die this early. I had to live. I knew I could only be moments away from the guards getting here. I went upstairs, and I grabbed the chest. All right, I have to hit this target, which means I need a bow. I looked at my inventory. What inside could help me? I was missing feathers for arrows, unless... All right, sorry, little buddy. I crafted the arrows, but still needed a bow. I noticed the redstone had unique writing on it. Mm, th those are coordinates. I went and I placed it down where it told me to. But how do I activate it? I realized the trap chest. Okay, let's see if this did anything. As I went back downstairs, a bow. I took it and aimed. This must be it. Nothing, nothing fell. I went back upstairs to check everything, but nothing had changed. It's not the devil. It's the devil. The soldiers were here. Soon they would reach me. I had to get out fast. I came back down. Oh, the, the ice is back. I, I wonder. I shot the bullseye and a book fell. I was so close. Frank, I'm running out of time. I was so confused. How is a flame arrow going to help? I added the book to my bow. Maybe shoot the ice? Nah, that's not a thing. What melts ice? What is... I realized. Candles. I made some, placed them on the ice, and shot them with my bow. Come on, come on, yes. It melted and I swam down. I was saved. Whoa. A guard was right there. Oh, crap. I need to take this guy down. I swatted at him, but then he swatted me right off into the water. All right, where is he? Where? I climbed back up to find him. Where is he? Where? He jumped me. I swung, and he fell over his spear. I dove into the water. I had to get away. I didn't want any part in this war. My mind was frantic. I wanted to get as far away from this, the gods, the soldiers, as I could. The villagers will pay for their acts against you, Arjuna. Be gone! Give them your wrath of a thousand suns! As I ran through the tundra, I spotted a house ahead. Maybe it had some bed and supplies. Hopefully there aren't any more angry villagers in there. Inside, I found a chest. Sell it. What does... I see you have come. Whoa, whoa, who? Who are you? You must save us. Reforge the axe of the gods and take back our land. Listen, man, I'm just here to grab food and... Whoa! Okay, he is gone. I ran outside to find him, but he was gone. I made my way to the steps when I was spotted. I got shot back! Arrows then flew. I ran for my life. After a safe distance away, I tried on my new helmet. Whoa, this thing is so cool. I continued my journey to find home and settle down in peace. I found what looked like an epic spot to build a civilization in. Away from the war and the gods. The hill acted as a natural shield and the plateau was super smooth. I grabbed some wood, then headed to the side of the cliff where I placed a chest with my items inside. I was going to build a town hall, houses, and people would come from far and wide here to settle in peace. I grabbed some of the ores along the mountain. This was going to be the mightiest kingdom in the land. No foe would stand before us. I made a town hall and then placed it down. I went with a medieval dark oak look. Soon villagers would arrive and we'd be the mightiest in the land. I needed food, so I made some bread with all the wheat that I had and then went out looking for some animals. Yo, that looks like another colony. I ran down, excited to meet my neighbors. In one of the chests, I found some food. As I walked, an eerie feeling came over me. A certain coldness. Something was here, and it wasn't alive nor dead. Uh, hello? 
Hello? Oh, the Sunday spotted these demon-like figures with red eyes. Whoa, my axe. They stole it. I ran after the thief, trying to hit it with my pickaxe frantically. What are these things? Hey, give it back. I'm gonna murk you. I got him, but they were all converging on me. Run, we need to get out of here. I'm not sure what those were, but something is very wrong. Soon you may devour their souls. The plan is working. Ooh, what's this? I saw some light near the bottom and hopped down. There was a spawner. I quickly took it out. Yo, a gapple and a god apple. Yo, let's go. My luck is finally turning around. I pushed further into the dungeon. I entered some sort of large room. Huh, that is nothing. As I ran down the halls to see if I could find more loot, I found these piglins wearing uniforms wielding a netherite pickaxe. I was backed up as I fought. No, no, I will go. Oh, the lava, the lava. I barely escaped. I was going to die. Come on, make it to the water. Make Make it to the water, make it! I just barely survived. How was I alive? I juked them around the corner until I healed enough, then went back in for the kills. Your nose is way too big. You gotta die. I ran back to get their loot, broke their spawner, and got a ton of gold. Now this looks like where the real loot's at. I made my way down into a spawner when a blaze flew out. Nope, not that way. Is that, wait, is that an archer on a phantom? I was on fire. I ran. There were crazy mobs spawning everywhere. Holy cats, help. I ran to the water and quickly climbed up. Quick, 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 quick. I mined through and got away. Yeah, may maybe I'll uh, come back later. I had I spotted some sort of castle. I didn't learn my lesson the first time about going into places uninvited, so I invited myself in. Rakshasa. Huh. Isn't that a god? Eh. I'll look around. I nosied around inside some sort of decaying castle. I found some food and scooped it up. A ton of carrots. We'd be set to live in peace for so long now. Whoa, I'm on fire! A creature vomited fire onto me, and then some sort of monk or something leaned into attack. I took down the demon-like creature and the monk. Crap, another one. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. One heart. I ran, praying for my life. I slotted in my golden apple. I may need them. Oh, that tree is on fire. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, ouch, nope. As I ran into the center, I found even... Even more. I ate a golden apple and ran back in. I took down the creatures. These were not undead. They were some sort of minions of the gods. I didn't want to be a part of this war. I'm on fire again. Crap. Need to get to water. Okay, okay. Oh, I hope I got trapped down here. Frick. Ah, okay, he's down. No, not the fire. Okay. Oh, oh. How did I just survive that? I moved around the corner where I saw legions of the minions. <laughs> I turned and ran for my life. For some reason, a section of the wall was missing, and I ran through it like a gazelle on the tundra, minus two legs. I began wandering. I had no purpose. I had been slaughtered in two dungeons. I had no good loot. I had let down scampers. Wait. Oh, holy pickles. I forgot scampers. I turned and ran. I needed to get back to the village. As the village loaded in, I drew my axe, ready to fight the guards. The prisoners, they're, they're, they're gone. I peeked around cautiously. Something was different. Oh, no, the village. It's it's destroyed. The village was in ruin. I had lost everything. I may as well just give up. All of a sudden, I spotted someone on the ridge. I ran up. This soldier was going to fall to my axe. Oh, oh, it's it's you. Your friend is still alive. He was taken to the stronghold to be given to the gods. The castle is about 2,000 blocks west of here. What? I ran off. Forge the axe. Fulfill your destiny. I had no time for destiny. I had to save Scampers. A few days later, I arrived with axe out. I ran towards it. Scampers was inside. They wouldn't stop me. I would raise all of them to high heaven. Send them back to their... What the fudge? What are you? Why are you looking at me? Stop. I ran directly at the castle to storm it. Oh, okay. That's a lot of arrows. Let's let's Okay. Let's retreat. All right. Let's try the other side. Full speed ahead, but the arrows came down in the hundreds and jolted me back. I wasn't going to be able to storm it. So I was gonna dig under it. I got mining. I was going to sneak in under there. What the? Bedrock. I couldn't. I couldn't mine in. There was no way inside. Yet again, I was defeated. The goat looked at me like a failure. Can't go under. I can't go at it. Wait, I wonder. What if I go up? But but how would I do that? What resources did I have? Then I realized. I ran over to the desert temple. I mined my way down. I had no time for what was in the chests. I grabbed the TNT. This was going to be a stunt like no other. I ran to a nearby cave, grabbed some coal, a flint, and a piece of iron. I made a furnace and smelted my iron down and made a flint and steel. This was going to be insane. I grabbed some water and headed to the walls. All right, gotta not get hit. Need to get close. Can't build the wall, build the wall. I dodged 
and weave and made a forward base. I made myself a pit where I placed down the TNT in the water. I grabbed a bit more water so I could land and then hopped inside of my cannon. Okay, this is gonna work, right? There was no going back at this point. I lit the TNT. The TNT blew and I soared up into the air. Those arrows volleyed at me. I landed. Arrows stabbed me in the back as I ran to the fortress. I'm coming, scampers. All right, I'm coming in, in maybe a minute. The guards flocked to me like geese and I had crackers for them and these geese had a big old stabber. I made a run for the cages but was quickly thwarted by two guards who forced me back. I hid behind the tent and after healing tried to snatch some logs but the archers weren't having it. All right, all right, temp number two. Book it, don't get shot, don't get shot. I placed a block, hopped in the cages. There's two. Oh, I had to take both. I couldn't leave the cute elephant. I picked them up. Oh my goodness, you're heavy. I pillowed up as the guards swarmed. All right, now we're safe. Now, how on earth do we get out of here? Scamper and Dumbo weren't offering much help. If we go down, we die. I don't have enough blocks to get us out. What What can I make? I realized this was going to be an all or nothing, but I had to try. I made a boat. The soldiers had breached the platform. I hopped in my boat, lit the TNT, and prayed. Woo! We soared through the... Wait, I've once heard it said that our greatest ideas are also our dumbest. As I contemplated my life, I began to realize... I'm fine! Huh. <laughs> Well, that worked out well. All right, I never want to. Oh yeah, hugs. <laughs> okay, hi, scampers. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, well, I guess you're coming too. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right, gang, let's head out. Now to live in peace and grow our colony together. A random villager has raided your holy fort and stolen the monkey. Gather the men and go kill him. All right, now you. Hey, get back here, Dumbo. Scampers, you're in charge. No fake crying, you bum. I'm gonna go check on the colony. I ran over. The settlers had arrived. I grabbed a builder's hut and placed it down. The citizens would begin building our colony and would thrive. Things were coming amazing. I wanted to build a little home for Dumbo and Scamper, so I grabbed some wood, some iron, and coal from the caves and headed to the jungle. Is that? Oh, oh, those are baddies. I'm, I'm just gonna avoid that for now. In the jungle, I grabbed some logs and saplings. I wanted Scampers to feel at home and be safe, so I made a little square with jungle fences, planted some jungle trees, and put a little water spot for Dumbo to play in. Elephants love water, I, I think. As night fell, I dragged the two rascals down. Alright, guys, I'll make you a bigger one eventually. But, you know, here you go. Scampers laid down. I think he liked it. I let them be. Whoa, the builders made a hut. Soon our coney would grow. We would build walls and live in peace. I was doing some organizing when I heard some noises. Are those... Wait, fire! My builder's hut was on fire. I sprinted over. Scampers! I saw fighting in the distance. The soldiers, they had found us. I have to get through to them. I need to grab Scamper. They beat me back. I couldn't get inside the cage. Scampers, come here, quick! I scooped him up on my shoulder. We started to run. No, Scampers! I sprinted back. I... I lost all energy. I just stared at the ground. A guard approached me. I was ready to die. No. On one heart, I notch appled and sent the soldier to an early grave, and I sprinted at the rest. The gods would pay. No more would I sit around for this. Scampers would be avenged. I ran through the guards, feeling a sense of pride as they dropped to my axe. I was bloodthirsty, and the gods were on the menu. I made a new set of gear. Stay, Dumbo. You're all I got left. I'll be back. Dumbo wouldn't look at me. He didn't want me to go, but Scampers had to be avenged. I got to a peak and looked around. A soldier? I wonder where he's going. I decided to follow. He must lead me to his master. We traveled for days until finally we reached some sort of temple area. Are those villagers in cages? I didn't care about the villagers, but if I was taking on the gods now, I knew I had to do what was right. I had to free them. I sprinted in, but I was beaten back. I led them away so I could take them on a couple at a time. Ah, I see you haven't got enough. And there's more. Okay, ready for round two? I wasn't gonna win like this. My best option was to free the villagers and hope they fight with me. I ran up to the cages and began breaking them open. The villagers were scared at first and they weren't helping. I was getting swatted. Oh, land it, land it. Easy. All right, come on, guys. All right, come on, guys. Get out. Ah, here we go again. Okay, okay. Oh. All right, they need to rally. I almost got trapped in a cage, but I got out. Things were looking bad until all of a sudden the villagers came out in numbers. The villagers, they're rallying. Let's go. The tides were turning. I continued breaking them out and we dropped the soldiers together. But right after the battle, the villagers all fled. How do we one? I noticed a villager had stayed behind. Thank you for helping us, but you must go now, before she awakes. Who awakes? I dare not speak her name. She's in that shrine. Quick, run! I wasn't afraid of any god. I ran up to the steps where I found a chest. I opened the chest and found some sort of shield inside, and then I wandered around. I walked around when I heard a voice. You dare awaken me? All of a sudden, the walls of the palace fell, and a chariot came barreling out. I charged right at it. This god was going to 
meet my axe. I had to get him off the chariot. I had no idea where to hit him. I went for the middle to break the horses free when all of a sudden it began raining arrows. I ran off to dodge them. What on God's earth is happening here? As the plethora of arrows fell, I rushed in and smashed the hinge and the chariot fell. As it broke apart, lightning struck. My children! You shall die! The god rushed at me with a sword, not of this earth. Did, wait, did your swords just fall from the sky? I rushed back and forth trying to dodge his massive attacks and do damage. The swords began spreading death on the ground as they were planted? Ouch, ouch, okay, that hurts. He mustered a huge attack and I jetted backwards. I sank my axe in again and again. All of a sudden he lifted himself in the air and then came down and ground stomped and nearly destroyed me. I retreated back. I tried to deal as much damage as I could. I was going Going to take down a god. But yet again, he forced me back with big hits and I was getting low. He's almost dead. Come on, I, I can do this. I can do this. I could not do this. He soared up in the air and crushed back down again. But it was too little too late. I killed him. Death is coming for you. <sighs> Oh, whoa, whoa, he dropped the bow. I picked it up. He also dropped some sort of gem. I stood in front of the palace, and in defiance of the gods, I threw it down. I cast the bow away, but accidentally threw my axe, when all of a sudden... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Lightning lit up the area. What did I just summon? The area was brighter than the seven suns, and as it cleared, I walked through to see if my axe was there. What is a, a new blade? How, how did that even work? I began to leave when I noticed something odd. The water, it's... It's, it's red. It was time to return home. The gods had been defeated. Perfect. Just a few more and the gods will be out of my way. As I arrived back, the buildings were starting to show up. The colony was thriving. Soon we'd be an unstoppable empire. I said hello to Dumbo, who snubbed me, and began building a bit more of a secure base. I built in the side of the cliff, so it was easy to defend. As I was touching up the base, I looked around and noticed Dumbo was missing. I checked around the camp. Dumbo, where? What the? What on God's green earth? Oh, holy heck! Demigods fell from the sky. What? Fire blocks? What is happening? Who sent these things? I tried to back up and use my bow, but they launched the earth at me and I went for a getaway. Blocks, blocks. Oh, I'm on fire. Water, quick. Oh my gosh, I'm so dead. This is the end. The demigods continued launching earth and fire at me. I meleeed one, swinging relentlessly with nothing more than a prayer. It began furiously spinning. I think I got it. All right, well, they can be killed. I'm not abandoning Dumbo in this colony. Not this time. As they all poured their fire on me, I stood with all I had left. This one looks solo. Let's try and get it. We entered one-on-one, -on -one, but I was quickly pushed back and on half a heart. I returned on the far side using my bow while dodging the last of their attacks and I took them out. With myself and the citizens low on food, I decided to venture out and find some. I wanted to get my mind off the gods. We had defeated them now. I was done with them. That's a curious structure. I headed right for it. It resembled some sort of temple. As I broke inside, I glanced around. I broke some spawners in the middle and peeked around the corners where I found a chest with some old dusty loot in it. On the other corner, there was a villager in a cage. Something was up. I went over to the other side of the room where I found a lectern. When I opened it, a book read about a labyrinth with four levers. Unlocking them would reveal great treasure. This is exactly what my colony needed. Without much thought, I flicked the lever and the floor began moving back. That didn't look normal. I hopped down. The labyrinth was partially flooded. I began searching for the levers. What treasure could be held in such a place? I ran into a spawner with a stray and took it out. Inside the chest, I found some copper and normal-looking loot. As I searched, I found a room that looked different than the others. It was full of life, and on the other side, a lever. Man, this is easy. Three to go. I fought my way through some husks and found what looked like a smithing room. Holy crap, golden apples. This loot is only getting better. I inspected by some redstone and found the second lever. Whoa, I was so lucky. I wasn't even looking for that. I pushed on. The treasure was mine. What are these? Okay, this looks like it's broken. That could have been deadly. As I pushed forward, Forward, I was met with a hallway of pressure plates. All right, let's throw this. Okay, nothing. I slowly made my way across. I could hear pistons moving. Something was being turned on. Oh, blazes, water. There's got to be a lever in here. I ran through. I found the lever on the other side of the room and sprinted out. I wanted nothing to do with fire. All right, this is the last room. The lever's got to be in here somewhere, right? Impaling. Man, I wish I had a trident. I couldn't find the lever. I retraced my steps to make sure I didn't miss it when... Ha! Gotcha! I heard a bunch of noises. Something had opened. Okay, this wasn't here before. A wall had opened up. I water bucket clutched down. Dead ahead, I spotted snakes. 
All right, just gonna step by you, little- ah, What the- I was in lava. I was definitely dead. I used the water bucket as a last ditch and barely made it to shore. But one hit from anything and I was dead. I hate snakes. I hate snakes. They give me the goosebumps. I used my bow to exact vengeance and cleared the path across. When all of a sudden, a bone creature lunged from the lava. Why? What are you? It pushed me back to where I dropped in. I used my bow to try and kill it, but it just lunged again. Come on, come on, yes, yes, down you go. Okay, this place is actually freaking me out. I made my way to a chest I spotted. Whoa, this is what they're guarding? I wonder what's in the treasure room. I sprinted to the end. My mining fatigue had worn off, so I took out the spawners. What are you? Holy crackers, you do a lot of damage. I was beaten back. Oh, no, sneaky things are here. Ah, Gapple, Gapple. I hope this is not good. I need to eat a Gapple. Come on, come on. I took out the last minion, and then I went and destroyed the spawner. Now, where's the loot? I flicked the lever and... Nothing happened. All right. Story of my life. All of a sudden, the stone disappeared. I slammed the lever relentlessly. Come on, open, open, open. Ooh, the treasure room. As I opened the chest, I found crazy stuff inside. Wait, what's, what's attacking me? Holy snakes, it's a snake. I gappled. I was almost dead. It was strangling me. I swung with everything. Ah, get off, get off. Oh, biscuits, it's dead. I hate hate snakes. I collected all the crazy rich resources in the room, and in the main chest, I found some OP loot and a strange-looking chest plate. I returned to the surface and broke the villager out. The axe. You must... The axe. Wait, what are you saying? The villager walked by me, then strained to the lava. I ran over to save him, but he was dead. What on earth did he see? What happened to him? The human has sacked your temple. You must go and avenge your prestige. I shall. When I was clear of the temple, I checked the chest plate. It was better than my current one, so I put it on. I arrived home, said hello to Dumbo. Yo, Dumbo, looking fly. Now that we were safe from the gods, it was time to expand and grow my empire. I placed down another builder's hut. And a house on the far side of the growing city. Soon we'd be our own mega power. I took the chance to build out my house a little bit more. I destroyed some of the mountain and used acacia and oak wood to do some basic decor. I would expand it soon. I wanted to build a shrine to scamper, so I ran out to get some spruce wood. Hello, fox, and goodbye, fox. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be my pet either. I grabbed a bunch of spruce logs and found some weird tower in the ground. Maybe I'll uh, head down there later. I headed back when I came across a village like mine. Maybe I could trade with my emeralds. But as I looked through the camp, something was wrong. Buildings were destroyed, no one was around, the city was ravished. I had to get back home. No! Some sort of evil beings were at my base, I jumped to attack. I spotted the demigods again too, it was a full scale invasion! All the buildings were on fire, blocks were being thrown at me as pig-like minions attacked. I turned to heal, but I was met with a wizard pig! You're going down! I toppled it, but the fight wasn't over, I ran in to deal with a swarm of mutant pigs. But met with a demigod, I popped a totem and gapple and barely made it out with my life. The god's minions were so powerful. How could I take on the god that was behind this? I frantically fired my bow. I ran into the water and on one and a half hearts destroyed the demigod. I took care of the last few minions, but enough was enough. I was going through the portal, destroying whatever evil lurked on the other side. I pillared up. This would go on no longer. I jumped through. Whoa, what the heck? I started to look around. This place was not normal. Oh, he's here. I looked around. I saw shadows in the trees. I can smell you. All of a sudden, I turned and I saw the giant beast. It drew out its swords. Come get some. The beast lunged at me and I was forced back. As I unleashed an arrow, all heck broke loose. What is going on here? Wind, fire, and blades were being thrown at me. What was this creature? Holy snakes, did I forget my water again? I tried keeping distance from the creature, but he closed in and dealt heavy blows. This is crazy. How am I supposed to... Uh, okay, eat. Okay, I'm going to build a wall. I fired from behind the wall, but to little avail. Hide behind this tree. Oh, sword, sword, sword. As I went in for hits, I was quickly pushed back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this. Oh, uh, peekaboo. Arrow to the knee. Oh, okay, no. I had held out for too long. I notch appled. It was all or nothing now. Eee! I wish my weapons did more damage. I block sprinted away to the corner when a legion of swords came at me. All right, all right. Peek. Oh, no. The wind circled all around, but he was almost dead. All right, here we go. The final charge. Come on. Nope, oh, oh, retreat, retreat. After healing, I headed back in. Fire raged all around me. Sword spun. I backed off, drew my bow with half a hard left. Eat, okay, okay. Snipe and snipe. Yes, I got him. I had won. The god spun frantically. I grabbed my resources when all of a sudden I noticed another ring on the ground. I threw down the ring and then the axe. Lightning erupted all around. Whoa. 
What on earth is that? I picked it up. It was like an axe I had not seen before. All of a sudden, I was teleported. Whoa, I'm dead. Oh, oh, water. The villagers were well on their way to repairing the village, but I had bigger plans. I wanted to create a defense around the entire village. I grabbed a builder's wand and began setting the parameters for the wall. I knew the creatures could come from the sky, but if I made the wall around the houses, there would be less space for them to get inside because the portals could spawn outside of the houses. At least that was my thought. And and I had defeated the sky ones, so presumably they weren't coming back. I placed down multiple schematics for the builders to construct. They all hastily got to work. Soon we would finally be safe from whatever these gods could throw at us. We could live in peace. The walls were finished and guarded the main attack points, leaving the canyon to one side. It wasn't fully done, but it was pretty much done. It would provide some protection. What was that? I looked around and saw a lightning strike in the sky. A figure appeared in the distance. Oh. Dare you strike the gods of this world, you human scum? Uh, they came at me? You will feel the wrath of the one who created you. Unleash the legions. The god disappeared. All of a sudden, water flooded and ships began sailing right at me. The time turned back today and I was invaded. They were some sort of pirates. I shot down the hill with my bow, but as their shots met me, I was getting destroyed. These guys are no joke. Who is that? I ran in, wielding my new axe, but I was pushed back. These were not normal pirates. They had some sort of unearthly power. They blasted me back. I needed a plan. I went one-on-one -on -one with a pirate and ended him. I ran around the corner and took out two more. I was holding my own. My arrows flew and I took down two more. I ran to the far side using my bow. I killed one. Then took out my axe and killed the other, but I was on one heart. Come on and There we go. One left. One left. Yay. I didn't spot any more, but I wasn't going to wait around to be slaughtered by more of these goons. I ran to my house and grabbed some supplies and made more food. I was going after that god in the army before they would come and kill my people. A boat. I just need to chase it. I sailed with one of their leftover boats till I found their cove. I got to shore and began traveling through the land looking for where their god may be. I was ending this right now. Huh, that looks like a temple. Wait, what is- No, 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 no! I flew through the air. The goat yeeted me off. Land this, land it, land it. Oh, oh, oh. Man, what is his problem anyway? Sheesh. I made my way to the temple, I could spot some sort of portal in the distance. I got closer. This must be where the god is. I jumped in. What is? Oh, heck no! I began to fall in front of some statue. I landed in water. Dead ahead, I saw Vishnu. Foolish, foolish human. I shall send your soul to Naraka. The air was lit with green toxins. I rushed in to smite Vishnu. I was backed off by more of the toxins when all of a sudden the wind knocked me back too. I circled around trying to get a shot off, but then horror missed with my bow. Are those snakes? Snakes fell from Vishnu as I pushed forward. Okay, one heart. Run, 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 run. I re-engaged, but Vishnu dropped more serpents. I took them out from distance. As the air filled with these blue-like spells, I ran in to face more snakes and Vishnu, but then I had to retreat. I dodged and weaved her attacks and got in some more heavy hits with my axe as she dropped yet even more serpents. I loosed my arrows from distance, but I was met with poison, so I frantically began swinging at the god with my axe again. Fire consumed the air, unearthly fire. I sprinted back and continued shooting. As I was bounced back by the wind itself, I knew I had to take this moment. I dodged her poison and began dealing heavy damage. My head was spinning. I swung with everything I had and then Vishnu fell. <laughs> you have fallen for my plan, you foolish mortal. Uh, I'm in the air. Man, who was that? As I got closer, I noticed something was wrong. There was a hole in my wall. I desperately ran around. I couldn't find any citizens. Dumbo? Dumbo! I sprinted to the house. I swear, if you kick me. Dumbo? Dumbo! He was nowhere. No, they had taken my Dumbo. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Vishnu is the creator. I defeated Vishnu. Who is more powerful than Vishnu? A cold breeze hit me. I realized who it was. I sank back, but I had no choice. I had to go and fight him. I had to save Dumbo. I arrived in Delhi, the new capital of ancient India, but something wasn't right. No one's around. If you try and kick me again. I hopped on a roof and hopped down onto the street, but as I walked through, I saw it was destroyed. I noticed a crater-like hole in an arena in the middle of the city, and I walked out to it. What? What, what, the, what is that? Thank you for killing the gods for me. Now I can ravage India and blame it all on you. You aren't leaving this place. Fool. Oh, you have never met a god like me. 
The day turned to night and the god of war began attacking. I unleashed my arrows from my godly bow, ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the god that created war. In retrospect, probably not the most intelligent. Holy cats, this thing has a lot of health. Come on, arrows, fly. The sky began to fall as Skanda released unearthly attacks on me. I ran with three hearts as meteors continued to fall. Little did I know what was soon to happen. He's not that strong. I can't... Ooh, that was a lot of damage. What is he? Oh, okay. Well, I guess he can fly, too. The god could summon zombies. I took them all out, but that was the least of my worries as the sky continued to fall on me. I ran in. Eat this axe, you oddly shaped god bird. If I could take Skanda off the bird, maybe I had a chance. I need to watch what I say. As his health lowered, his attacks grew more deadly. I was one shot. I was shot back, but I was not deterred. Little did I know what was about to happen. Ah, dig in. Let's get him. As the god was near death, I charged in. This was my chance. I used the rage I had from everybody that I lost in this land. Come on, axe. Do more damage. Yes, I've won. The sky erupted as Skanda's bird fell. All right, this should be easy. My mount, prepare to die. The god released his spears into the air, and then my health was just erased. What the fudge? She is way too strong. No, no, no. I was being backed up. I couldn't do anything. I tried using my bow. As I was forced out, the sky fell, and I launched arrows, but they did nearly nothing, and he was wrecking me. I was going to die. There was nothing I could do. We need to try. Come on. Let's do some damage, and ooh, ooh nope, 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 absolutely not. I used water to put myself out. Six carrots. He, he does mad damage. The god backed me down as I tried to bow him. I tried attacking him from the back, but I was swatted away. I breathed heavily as he marched towards me. Lightning ignited the night sky. This is over. I just have to run in and die. I readied myself to leave this world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What new attack is this? Mud, you have fought for the creatures beneath you valiantly. Called them friends. Saved them countless times. For this bravery, I will help you. This was the monkey god. Skanda found his way around the lightning, but now I had a god on my team, and the real fight began. The earth shook as they collided, and I ran in to help. Let's go. Give them everything you have, my flops. I shot arrow after arrow as the gods clashed in the middle. This is for scampers, you loser. All of a sudden, the gods started aiming for me, and the monkey god got in mad damage. Skanda turned back to the monkey, and I used my bow skills to inflict heavy damage. His attacks were no match for the both of us. I hit him midair like a shooting gallery. All right, let's go. Let's get him. Swing, my friend. Swing. I was on fire. I put it out. I was shot back, but I wasn't going to back off. Half health. No food. I gave him everything I had. Come on. Come on. He fell. I am the You fought well. Now, Riveter. The monkey disappeared. Something was wrong. The sky changed. What is that? It looks like simulation override.